This is not karate. One, two, this is kung fu. Well, I mean, when I got the role, right, I'll be like, yes, I got the role. But like five seconds later, oh man, I got the role. Look, it's a lot of pressure playing Bruce Lee, right? A lot of people, they have an idea in their hearts of who Bruce Lee actually is. So there was that pressure there. But instead of kind of living up to people's expectations or, or imitating him, we decided to embody him. I took the qualities, the universal qualities that people said that he had, and embodied those qualities and reacted to the situations in the movie using those qualities. That was a big challenge. Bruce Lee, I think he had an influence on everyone's life, right? But uh, for me, he influenced me martial arts-wise. And also because my own teacher, uh, Wong Sun Nam, is a classmate of Bruce Lee and also his primary instructor. So through him, I heard a lot of stories about him. And those stories are very valuable to me because those are things you can't read in books. But for me, I mean, uh, not only martial arts-wise, I mean, he was a pioneer in kung fu movies. And it wasn't for him, you know, guys like Jackie Chan and Sammo Hong, Yun Bill, even myself would not have the position that we have today. I immigrated to America when I was seven years old, so all new immigrants, we lived in a house with a lot of families. I have two uncles and, a, and a, my father there too, and they all taught martial arts. And uh, when I was younger, I remember my father used to take me to a lot of movies. A lot of those movies were action movies, and he would point out every single fighter. He would say, oh, that guy's really good in this method of fighting. That guy's really good at this and that. And growing up, I uh, really liked uh, reading comic books, and I liked to tell stories. Not only did I want to be good at kung fu, I kind of wanted to be one of those guys. So I realized uh, there's other ways to tell story through images and art, and I think one of that is movie making. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try going back to Hong Kong and try and make kung fu movies. I tend to do all my own stunts. I mean, if you have that in you, I think it's, it's more authentic for the audience for you to do that. And for this movie, there wasn't a lot in terms of stunt work, more, more the fighting, which I did all myself. And I felt more comfortable doing that, and I think it was more easy for me to do my own stunts. It's easy for me to perform when I did that. I think the audience really have to go into this movie knowing that it's not a biopic. It's more of a kung fu fable or, or more of a fan fiction where um, you do take the authentic spirit of the character and put him in a situation that's slightly embellished. And uh, cinematically, I think it's very entertaining. And um, I think the audience, when they come into this, they'll leave smiling and they'll enjoy this movie. Hi everybody, my name is Philip Ng. I play Bruce Lee in the upcoming Birth of the Dragon coming out this summer, so make sure you watch it. Thank you very much, I think you'll enjoy it.